This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hang out to the end of the video to learn how you can save 10% on your first website or domain. We kinda need to talk about your website. What's up? This is John from John Bench for Photography and something that always irks me and gets on my nerves and honestly, it's just kind of sad sometimes is seeing newer photographers' websites. Now, I'm not trying to hate or be mean, but a lot of people make a lot of the same mistakes when they're starting out and I wanna help you all so that you're not making those same mistakes as well. And if you're new to the channel and you're not familiar with me, I'm a wedding photographer and have been for seven years. I used to work at Squarespace as well. So websites and wedding photography is kinda, kinda my thing. <laughs> so aside from the introductions, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in wedding photography and also building websites or just creative entrepreneurship in a whole. So let's not waste any time and go ahead and get into the three things wrong with your website. So first we're gonna start out with a bonus, which is the fact that a lot of y'all don't even have websites and think you don't need one. I've seen way too many photographers who swear by only having an Instagram account or a Flickr account or something of that sort and not having a website. And y'all, it is hands down the most important to make yourself a website, especially if you're a professional working photographer or want to be one. You can easily sign up for a website through this video sponsor, Squarespace, which I'll be talking about later. So really, there is no excuse not to have a website. And keep in mind, with having a website, you're gonna look much more legit, you're gonna look much more established, and it's just better overall. It sets you apart from people who just have an Instagram or something of that sort. So seriously, if you don't have a website yet, go ahead and jump on one. You absolutely need one. So that's the first thing wrong with your website. That doesn't even count as one of the three. That's just a little, little tasty nugget we're gonna put in beforehand. So now let's get to the real first thing that's wrong with your website, which is curating your portfolio. When you're starting out and first building your website, I know it's extremely hard to not wanna put every single photo that you've taken on your website, but trust me, do not put every shoot you do on your website. Curating your portfolio is extremely important and it's really gonna establish your brand. One of the biggest reasons you wanna curate your portfolio is it's gonna give you the type of shoots that you want. So for example, if you wanna be a wedding photographer, but all you get are family shoots, so you just keep putting family shoots on your website because you're thinking, yeah, it shows that I can actually shoot photos and they look great. You're only gonna keep getting families. Show what you want to shoot. Another example is if you wanna shoot weddings on the side of a mountain at like Yosemite or something, then you need to show mountain shots. Even if they're not in the exact location that you want, you need to go find a mountain somewhere and build yourself a portfolio of mountain photos. If you only have three or four of those photos, then show only three or four of those photos. Trust me, you may think it's counterproductive, but in the long run, you will just keep getting the stuff you show on your website. And if you're not showing what you want to get, you won't get it. And again, less is more. Don't be afraid of only having a couple of photos on your website when you're starting out. You wanna establish yourself online as a pro and a master in the field of photography that you do, rather than being a jack of all trades and or doing types of shoots that you just really don't wanna do. So show less, curate it down, and show what you want to shoot. That is the most important part of curating your portfolio. The next thing you're doing wrong is not having consistency in your portfolio. And when I'm talking about this, I'm talking about editing consistency. Your photos across the board need to look the same. You can't have one photo that's dark and moody, and one photo that's bright and airy. You need to have a style and it needs to be established. And not only does this affect your website, but it also affects your brand. As a really good photographer, I should be able to look at your photos and know that they're your photos without even having to think about it. Some of my favorite photographers like Forged in the North and Anae Atelier, they also just, I can, I at, from a mile away, I can tell that it's their photos because their style is consistent and the look is totally, totally consistent. And the biggest tip I can tell you for this is don't be using different presets for different shoots. I hear a lot of photographers who do that and they have like a preset for this session and a preset for that session and it's just gonna make your stuff 
not look cohesive and consistent. The way I save myself from that is I have one preset that I use on basically everything. That's the Natural Fills preset. I actually do sell it if you're interested. You can check it out in the description below. But basically everything on my website not only has been shot with the same camera system, but also has been edited with the same preset. So for example, about consistency, when I switched from Canon to Fujifilm, I went through my website and slowly filtered out all of the Canon work so that everything was Fujifilm and had a very consistent look to it. And you need to make sure your website is consistent because people will look at your photos and be like, why does this one look like that? I don't like it, but I like this one. Can I trust this photographer? Because their stuff is just all over the place. So consistency is huge. Make sure you have it on your website. And the last thing you're doing wrong on your website is you don't have a clear navigation and calls to action. This one is the most important because this is how you're gonna get paid. This is how you're gonna book new clients. This hands down is the most important. Having a clean navigation that doesn't have 50 different places you can go and also call to actions on nearly every page of your site is hugely important. Taking a look at my website, you can see my navigation is nice and clean. There's like six or seven little places that my customers can go and look at information about my website. And also my navigation is built in a way of the journey I want my clients to take. So from left to right, you should be putting your navigation in where you want your visitors to go. Also, call to actions are important. These are gonna be buttons or links on each page that will get your client to your contact page to contact you and book. A great, great example of this is a friend of mine's website, which you can see right here. Their call to actions are so good and they're all over the place. So there's a little bit of information that shows you about the website. Everything is beautiful and consistent and a call to action. And check out how it only took three clicks while scrolling through their website to get to their contact form. This is exactly what you want. Without this, you're not gonna get as many leads, you're not gonna get as many bookings. Seriously, it is hands down the most important part of your website. And if you'd like to learn more about booking clients, let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to make some videos on that stuff as well. So curating your photos, making sure you have a clear and consistent portfolio, and a nice clean navigation and calls to action on your website, are gonna make you do so much better online. It'll make your website look better. It'll make clients book more. These are things we want. As photographers, it's what we want. These are the things you need to fix on your website. And the easiest way to do that is with this video sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace is an online platform for building your portfolio and website. I've been using it for seven years now and absolutely love it. And being able to build out my navigation easily put together my portfolio and put call to actions on every page is hands down one of the easiest things to do on Squarespace. They have pre-made templates already built for you which is going to make this so much easier and also it's easy to create your own pages and your own look on Squarespace as well. If you're looking to upgrade your website or you don't even have one yet, make sure to check out the link in the description below for 10% off of your first website or domain. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. So I hope these tips were helpful for you all because this stuff is very important. When you're getting into the photography business and you're trying to book clients and you're like, why am I not booking? Your website is one of the biggest reasons. So if you found this helpful, make sure to share it with a friend and hit that like, as well as subscribe for more information in the future on website building, photography, and being a creative entrepreneur. I'll catch you all next time. All right, peace.